So you are a fashion designer or an interior designer and you want to develop your presentation skills. I'm here to help you. Hey, my name is Bishal Sarkar, author of the book, I Love Public Speaking, How to Communicate with Excellence. One of the things that I've been really fascinated about in my life is that I get to have a lot of friends and clients and coaching members who are actually fashion designers. So I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching clients from colleges like NIFT and many other colleges in India. NIFT is the number one uh, in India in terms of fashion technology. And I, and I, when I coach them, I see many patterns in them in terms of their presentations because most of them are really great at their skill set, which is the fashion designing. But when it comes time for them to actually express what they have done themselves, they have a hard time. And in fact, in this video, I'm going to give you five specific things, five specific big mistakes that most fashion designers make. And I want to give you the opportunity so that you can learn how to avoid them as well. It's a video series and this is the first video. In fact, if you read my book, you're going to learn more about it. The first mistake that I see fashion designers make is that they start like everyone else. They start like everyone else. What I mean by that is that their presentation starting or opening is just like any anybody else. So they start something like this. Okay, so good morning. My name is Vishal Sarkar. I'm a fashion designer from this company and uh, today I want to talk about a special product, a very special. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. You gotta get their attention. Okay, that's the reason I did not start with Hi, my name is Vishal Sarkar, I have this many degrees and this many books I've written, this many audio programs, this many radio shows that you... I, I said, I talked about you. Are you a fashion designer who wants to make a difference in their presentation skills? Well, that's exactly what you need to do. So, the tip for you is that next time you get on a stage, don't start talking about you in a boring way. Alright, what you need to do is that start with a question that relates to them, relates to your clients, relates to your senior management team and get them hooked from the beginning. That's the first tip because Harvard did a study uh, and they said that you have about 7 to 15 seconds to make a first impression. So you have to impress right there. Okay. Second tip I want to tell you about is that the mistake that most fashion designers make is that they talk a lot about features of the design but they don't talk about the benefits of the design. So in the presentation they talk about uh, you know, in great technical depth, okay, this is the what the thread that this product is made of and this is the kind of this and this. Guess what? Remember that people never buy on logic. They don't. People buy with emotion, I'm sorry, people buy with emotion and justify with logic. What I mean by that is that next time you are giving a presentation, don't just talk about, you know, the, the, the feature of this, what it's made of. Talk about how nice it will look when it's on the table. Talk about how nice it will look when I have a flower, you know, stick inside it. How is that? Sell that. So don't sell the feature, sell the benefit. So two points I've talked so far. Number one, uh, don't start the boring way. Number two, don't just talk about feature, talk about benefit. Number three, the mistake you need to avoid is that I see most, you know, fashion designers never focus on any pain point pain point okay here is what I mean by that what is a pain point a pain point is a statement or a value proposition that you give to your clients listening to which they understand what value they will miss if they don't buy from you listen to me very very carefully I charge a lot of money for teaching this to my clients I'm giving it to you right now you need to language to your clients not only that this is the right product for them or right design for them you have to tell them what they will miss out on if they don't get it in fact if you call my office you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, I, I'll be happy to give you a specific document that I have that actually walks you through this process on how to bring that out so know how exactly to bring out the pain point so that your client becomes uncomfortable not buying it so that he will actually be comfortable in buying it. Point number four I want to tell you the mistake that most you know fashion designers make and that's not your mistake and that is most fashion designers never know how to ask for the order in the right way. They never know how to ask for the order so they, they do the presentation, they work night after night on the PPT 
But they never know after that, you know, how to ask for their order, what exact lines to say, uh, to close the sale, to close the deal, to get the deal going on for a repeat, you know, basis. They never know that. And here is why. And this is the reason, this is, this is one of the reasons that actually they don't ask for the order. Because, and no offense to anybody, but I've seen many fashion designers who just think, uh, I'm an artist. I'm creative, I don't need to sell. I just need to go and talk and talk about my product and everybody will buy. And absolutely you are right, you are an artist and probably you are the best artist uh, in the world. But at the same time, you know, you need to actually show them the value and ask for the order. So at the end, you have to give them an offer in such a way, I call it the irresistible, irresistible offer. And what you need to do is you have to give an order in such a way that actually they buy it right now. Because there are three questions you need to answer. Why should they buy this product? Why should they buy this product from you? And why should they buy this product from you right now? And if you just answer this question, it's going to be excellent for you every single time. Okay? And the fifth mistake that I want to tell you that most fashion designers make is that they give their client list. You know, this is the list of clients that I have. And they tell it in a way which sounds like bragging. They say something like this. Oh, uh, by the way, we have worked in TCS with this company and that company and they don't organize it. Come on, man. You are not a brochure. So stop telling your laundry list. What I suggest you to do is something that I will teach you more when, I, when I'm coaching with you, if I, if I continue this conversation with you. It's something called seeding. It's seeding. You know, you know how to sow a seed, right? So you have to sow the seed in the mind of your clients from the beginning, not just the end. So you'll say something like, instead of saying, my client is TCS, you'll say something like, say something like, you know, a few days back, I was working with TCS and they, they're really happy right now. And, and one of the things that I actually did for them is this, this, this. See, I did not tell them that TCS is my client, but they understood that TCS is my client. This is called seeding in a soft selling way. Seeding in a soft selling way. So there you go, five tips and five mistakes that you need to avoid. Uh, keep watching these videos, I know it helps you. If you avoid these five mistakes, I can guarantee to you that you will gain more recognition as a fashion designer, you will enjoy presentations much more and you will be able to do and deliver presentations in a very confident way and people around you will like it and you will like it. Hey, I wanna offer you something very special. Look. I'm a businessman and you know I have a lot of time, I have a lot of time freedom and with God's grace I have a lot to give to people. So here's the deal, I want to offer you a free complimentary 30 minute coaching session for you. How is that? And that's on phone absolutely or, or Skype. Uh, I want to give it to you, I charge a lot of money for this kind of coaching session but I want to give it to you for free. Why? Because I just want to help you. So if you just go to my website bishalsarkar.com and find it because if you just go to the website you will find the information how to schedule the call and I'm happy to talk to you and know and evaluate your speaking skills because I'm the number one trusted advisor on public speaking in India and I'll evaluate your speaking skills and give you an action step that you can take right now in order to take your presentation to our next level. So I look forward to talking to you. Go to bishalsarkar.com. Until I meet you I have to remind you that Presentations for fashion designer is not about perfection. Presentations for fashion designer is all about connection. Take care.